Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day and today is Wednesday the 7th and today was a gorgeous day outside. Started off nice and cool, um, warmed up beautifully and absolutely trying to be a great day. Got this morning, got a few things taken care of, uh, nothing really major, just kind of plugging along with the whole thing and decided I was going to go look at a trailer for sale up by Port Orange area and then when I went up there and looked at it, um, I took the truck so I could bring it home in case I did want it. Um, Got there, looked at the trailer and stuff, made a deal, said I would come back for it later because while I was talking to the guy, I got a voicemail from Karen's father, Richard, and he wanted me to come up and um, fix the chain on his bike and some other stuff with all different things I wasn't gonna be able to do today. I need a chainsaw for and other tools and whatnot. So I thought I'd go up there and get an assessment, uh, really get an eye on it and see exactly what it is that I needed to do, what I was gonna to need to be able to accomplish the whole thing and whatnot. So, ran up there, um, hit a couple other little shops, went by Bass Pro and stuff, just kinda of looking around to see what else is around. You never know you're gonna need something. Um, from there, had got Richard's um, chain put back on, got that all taken care of, got that done. From there, I headed back down, picked up my trailer, uh, brought it home, it's just a little four by eight trailer. It's real low slung. It's actually custom built for um, like hauling Harleys and stuff, motorcycles and that. And it's just a neat little thing. I'm gonna try and make some brackets for it and see if I can't um, turn it into a kayaking trailer as well as I wanted it mostly just to haul vending machines. That's what I'm looking for. I need something I can haul a vending machine around. And also a sheet of plywood every now and then if I need to because I'm gonna get rid of my truck, I believe. So I've kind of been holding off heavily trying to promote selling my truck until I found myself a trailer and I now have a trailer that'll work for me. So now I can unload the truck. So definitely um, excited about that whole concept as well too. So went ahead um, from there we headed out and um, basically I got back to the house uh, went for my run I got the trailer packed in and the thing is so stupid sm like it's just oh my lord it's so ridiculous how um, short wheel waist it is and it jackknives like crazy I had to pull up twice which I make fun of people that can't back in a trailer and being as short as it is I'm gonna have to learn how to redo that thing so definitely um yeah stoked about that that's awesome but went ahead um got it home though and got it all ready to go it looks like it's going to be a trailer it's got a couple things i want to change on it um, one of the big things i got to put longer wires on it because the cable's too short to even plug it into any vehicle and especially uh, too short to plug into mine and it's the wrong plug on there to fit my truck so i'll probably leave it the um, small flat plugs there's a lot more people that have that than my giant um industrial grade plug on my truck and whatever I put on this car or whatever else I get next, I'll have that same plug I'll just put on it. So went ahead, um, got back, got my run in, got back home from there, um, got my shower, Karen got home from work. We were chatting a little bit, decided to have some um, frozen Tostito or tar oh, Tatalinos, the little tacos rolled into a um, tube basically. Some beef and cheese frozen ones that we bought a while back at um, I believe Sam's Club. So I had those and some leftover rice um, a little bit of uh, sour cream and salsa mixed in, uh, made for a nice little meal. It was not a great meal, but it was super simple, super easy. And I found out afterwards, Karen loves those things, I guess. I didn't realize she was such a fan of them, but I guess she really, truly really enjoys them. So that was a definite uh, little surprise I did not know it was going to be uh, to my benefit. I was just like, hey, this is a super quick meal. And she had talked like she hadn't had them in years and really enjoyed them. So that's always a good little benefit there. So I went ahead. Um, basically kind of did a little mental scouting of where I wanted to have the wedding. Uh, don't know exactly yet. There's a couple spots, um, just different little things here and there. I've got a couple things light up. I look, stopped and looked at a couple places that will work, but they're not um, top of my list right now. So and I'm going to have probably two or three spots because the places I'm going to have them, I can't really like reserve it per se. So if I get there and, you know, a bunch of drunk college frat kids or some crap doing something stupid there, I'll be able to move on down to the next location and continue on as, to the next one. So right now we don't have, but like I think eight people coming, so we're all good. Um, we don't plan on having a bunch of people here, hopefully, and we'll see what happens. So anyway, I will talk to you all soon. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.